Hello and welcome to the learning curve. We are doing a series of flash and action script 3 tutorials. Now today we will look at more events. Till now we are doing the mouse events. In this particular session we will try to make a custom cursor. So I just choose a star and I make one. Now I will just select it, press F8, convert it into a symbol. The registration point, I'll choose this. Okay. I may just apply a few filters so that it looks a little better. So, I'll add a glow to it. Inner glow. And maybe increase the this thing. Yeah. Hi. Okay. So, then I can also add another V-Well. And this looks a little better. So, once this is done, now I want my cursor to be replaced by this particular cursor. The original cursor. To be replaced by this cursor. So, for that, what I'll do is, I'll add a layer of action script and put in actions here. Now we know that first we have to create a function so the function I can name it my cursor function for I just have to name this instance also so the instance name I'll call it my cursor right so my cursor function it's going to be an event of the type event this is not a mouse event it is just occurring whenever we are going into the onto the stage and it's returning nothing now what I want is that I want the my cursor that's the instance name of this particular cursor the x position of that particular cursor should replace should in fact take up the same position which is taken up in mouse x on the stage so this particular line means that the stage has a particular mouse x position which is monitored by the movement of the mouse that x position of that particular uh, mouse is now stored into the cursor value of the x parameter similarly my cursor dot y is equal to stage dot mouse y so this would mean that the y position of the mouse on the stage would be taken up by the my cursor y position i can also change the color of the stage i can say stage dot color is equal to 0x a hexadecimal code and maybe i want my cursor or the background color to be blue so these are the hexadecimal codes which were explained earlier you can go through the lectures and see for yourself. Now once this is done, I have to add, a, add an event listener. So who's going to add, uh, listen to my events? My events will be heard by the stage. Add, sorry, event listener. So the stage is now hearing at all the events and it is the one which is triggering the event enter frame there is an underscore here so this is an inbuilt event of the type enter frame which is which happens as soon as we move to the frame 1 so as soon as my playhead moves to the frame 1 this event is triggered so I want this to be executed as soon as we enter the stage and which function do I want to call after this? I want to call the my cursor fn should be called 
as soon as I enter my frame or enter my stage. So let's see if it is working. Yes, it is. So you can see the registration point was the this point on the side. So that is why the mouse is moving this. If I would have chosen the center point, the center of the star would be moving with the um, cursor. Now I just want to hide my current mouse. So I can just say mouse dot hide and this should be enough to hide my mouse and get my cursor custom cursor moving. So this brings us to the end of this session. See you in the next one. Thank you.